Hey YouTube family, still keeping one here, and happy Sunday to everyone. Hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. Today, I wanted to make a video about tools, preparing, and taking control of your thought process about your finances. I think these three things are very important. So to start here, I have a hammer here. Household hammer. Everybody knows what it is. <clears throat> it's some wood and some metal. Probably cost about $10. Not much. Now, I want to take your home as an example. Let's say you're building a home. You built your home. You're living in it. Doesn't matter if your home is worth $50,000 or $10 million. It is valuable because of the value you put on it. Now, let's say that $10 million home, that $100,000 home, is getting built. You would want to have this. It's the tool for the job. That's only $10, but what value would you put on it because you need it to build that house? It becomes more valuable to you because it gets the job done. This is also a tool. A lot of people say, especially in our community, that this has no value or it's worthless. Um, intrinsically, it does have no value. It's paper, cotton, ink. Uh, if you tore it apart, can't really use it for anything. Doesn't have any value in itself. But it has the use as a tool. Why do you save? Why do you invest? It's because you are preparing. Whether you're preparing to buy a house, to buy a car, to leave something to your children or grandchildren, uh, to make more money, to then do something with that. It's all a preparation. That's what it is. And this is what we use right now as our main tool of preparation. Now what I have here, I have the three current coins in the Royal Canadian Mints uh, Birds of Prey series. It's a popular series, I think. It's not the most popular, but has a following. Now, let's say I wanted to sell these three coins. I could probably get around $20 each for it if I were selling them. Now let's say you're looking for one of these coins and you come across me selling them and you have $20 to spend and you will spend $20. And then I say, okay, yeah, I'll sell it to you. But how about I sell it to you for $18, $2 off. You would probably think you got a great deal. You would get uh, a good feeling about that. You know, that's, that's 10%. That's a whole $2. Now let's say you're buying something else from me. Let's say you're buying a car and I'm selling it to you for $30,000. And you bring your money and say, oh, I'll take it. Here's my $30,000. Now what if I said to you, you know, how about you just give me $29,998 for it? That same $2 savings that I gave you on this coin. You wouldn't think twice about that. You wouldn't care. It's so small. It's a fraction of the smallest percentage off, but it's the same exact $2 that you saved from this coin. Why do you feel different about it? That is known as something called a price paradox. You don't put the same value on the same $2 when you should. It is a big part of responsibility in your finances. And you probably heard the phrase penny wise and pound foolish. And I think a lot of us are probably guilty of that because like I said, we wouldn't care about that $2 off of 30,000 when we should. That is a stepping stone in learning to take your finances seriously. And I'm not saying you're not taking it seriously if you don't think that way. But 
it is something that we have to get over. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know I've said that I'm a spender. Now, now I'm a stacker, I'm a saver, I'm a collector, I'm an investor, and I'm still a spender. I didn't stop spending, of course not. We have to spend on something. But I have gotten a new perspective on what saving money really is. It's a tool. You use it for a job because that's the tool that it takes. Just like this hammer. It's not worth anything by itself. It's not backed by gold. It's not backed by silver. It's not backed by anything. But it gets the job done. I can build that house just like this. This has no intrinsic value also, but it has the value that you put on it. You know what you could get with this. Whatever you buy, you're just trading this for whatever that goods or services are. That's all it is. It's a tool. It's the right tool for the job. So I've never really teached to go against the dollar. You know, that's not really my thing. I know it's very important. I know we need it. And like all other paper currencies, it will probably fail one day. All the other ones have. So, you know, it may not be for another thousand years, but it will one day. Because being backed by the government, you know, can't last forever. So think about these things the next time you're spending your money the next time you're using this tool uh, because to me money is very important it's not the most important thing but a lot of people say and they probably get this wrong a lot of the times you might hear people say money is the root of all evil when that was never the saying the saying is the love of money is the root of all evil it just gets the job done and Having it, there's nothing wrong with having it. There's nothing wrong with making it. There's nothing wrong with providing goods or services to get this in return for it. You know, this is what we do. We use this in our everyday lives to prepare. So I just wanted to make this video to put my thoughts out there on the subject because I do hear a lot of uh, dollar bashing out there, but. It's a tool like any other. You're prepping. If you're saving money, if you are buying silver, if you're investing in stocks, you don't invest to lose money. You invest in the hopes of getting more than your original money back. You want something to appreciate. You want to get more value from whatever it is. So these are just my thoughts. Uh, Tell me your thoughts down in the comment section. Looking forward to hearing them. And let's keep the discussion going. All right. Thanks for listening, YouTube.